parts of a plant class 3 science we see different kinds of plants around us they are of different shapes and sizes as you have learned about some parts of a plant in previous class label the parts of a plant in the given picture flower root stem leaf let us learn more about parts of a plant a plant has two main parts the root and the shoot the part above the ground is called the shoot it consists of the stems leaves buds flowers and fruits the part below the ground is called the root root is the part of the plant that usually grows below the ground there are two main types of roots tap root and fibrous root tap root it consists of a main thick root from which small roots grow plant such a bean mustard and hibiscus have tap roots fibrous root it consists of many thin roots that appear bushy there is no main root plants such as grass wheat and onion have fibrous roots uses of root it helps the plant stay fixed to the soil it takes in water and minerals from the soil which are used by the plant for making food some plants store food in their roots some of these roots can be eaten by human beings example radish turnip beetroot and carrot stem the stem is the main part of the shoot the stem can be strong or weak trees such as the banyan tree have a thick and strong stem called the trunk it holds the tree straight and upright plants such as grapevine and bean have weak stems such plants either grow along the ground or need support of other plants walls or sticks uses of stems it keeps the plant upright and straight leaves buds flowers and fruits grow on the stem the stem carries water nutrients and food to other parts of the plant stems of some plants are thick because they store extra food prepared by the plant some of these stems can be eaten by human being examples are sugar cane potato ginger leaf the flat surface of leaf is called the leaf blade if you look at a leaf carefully you will find a lot of lines running across it these lines are called veins uses of leaves leaves make food for the plant therefore they are also known as the kitchen of the plant most leaves appear green because they contain a substance called chlorophyll chlorophyll helps leaves to absorb light green leaves prepare food for the plant in the presence of air water and light leaves give out a gas called oxygen which is essential for life leaves of some plants store food spinach cabbage lettuce and coriander leaves are examples of leaves eaten by human beings flowers most flowers are brightly colored and have a sweet smell some flowers have a pleasant smell most flowers change into fruits most fruits have one or more seeds inside them seeds grow into new plants thus flowers are important to a plant as they help it to reproduce 
cauliflower and broccoli are examples of flowers that we eat fruits fruits such as mango and plum have a single seed inside them fruits such as apple orange and lemon have a few seeds inside them fruits such as papaya and watermelon have many seeds we eat the fruits of many plants seeds seeds are of different shapes sizes and colors we eat seeds of plants such as wheat gram corn rice and bean such seeds are called edible seeds spices such as mustard and cumin adds flavor to our food germination when a seed gets a right amount of air water and light it grows into a baby plant the process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination recap a plant is divided into two main parts the root and the shoot the root takes in water and minerals from the soil the shoot consists of stem leaves buds flowers and fruits the stem keeps a plant straight and upright. The leaves prepare food for the plants. Flowers change into fruits. Fruits contain seeds. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to stay updated. Your comments and suggestions are valuable to us.